Dear viewers, welcome to Nursat Satellite Station and Telegmir TV. Let's start with the headlines. The fifth anniversary of the first pastoral visit of His Holiness Pope Tawadros II to Jordan. Patriarch Pier Battista Pizzabella concludes his pastoral visit to Cyprus. The League of Arab States stresses the importance of the Hashemite guardianship to protect Islamic and Christian holy sites. We also have Madaba won the title of Capital of Arab Tourism for the year 2022. Welcome back. His Beatitude Pier Battista Pizzabella, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, concluded his first pastoral visit to Cyprus, during which he visited the parish of St. Mary the Mother of Grace and the Terra Santa Sanctuary for the Elderly. He also met with the parish council, other representatives, the monks and nuns of the Nicosia and a number of Knights of the Holy Sepulchre. His Beatitude also participated in the reception ceremony of His Eminence, Archbishop Salem Sfer, who was appointed Archbishop of the Maronite Archdiocese of Cyprus. During the visit, His Beatitude met the Archbishop of the Greek Orthodox Church in Cyprus and held meetings with a number of Metropolitans and the staff of the Caritas Center for Immigrants. He also held several Masses that he concluded with a Mass in the Catholic Church of the Holy Cross. The League of Arab States Council affirmed the importance of the historical Hashemite custodianship, which His Majesty King Abdullah II assumes over the Islamic and Christian holy places in the city of Jerusalem, and its role in protecting these holy sites and the legal and historical status existing therein, as well as preserving its Arab identity against Israeli violations and attacks. At the conclusion of its regular session, the Council valued all Jordanian efforts aimed at preserving the city of East Jerusalem, its sanctities and its cultural and human heritage. These days coincide with the fifth anniversary of the first pastoral visit of His Holiness Pope Tawadros II to Jordan, which had a great positive impact in terms of tourism promotion of the holy religious sites in the Kingdom. The visit began with His Holiness's meeting with His Majesty King Abdullah II and His Royal Highness Prince Ghazi bin Muhammad, the King's Chief Advisor for Religious and Cultural Affairs, a number of senior officials and a large number of members of the Coptic parish in the Kingdom. His Holiness expressed his thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for the great hospitality and reception he received in Jordan. And one of the stations of his visit was when His Holiness laid the foundation stone for the monastery of Anba Anthony in Madaba, and raised the evening prayer at the Church of the Virgin and St. George's Church in Amman, then a visit to Mount Nebo and the site of the baptism of Christ. The Roman Catholic Church of Our Lady in Jabal Amman, with the participation of the Latin Church of St. Joseph, held a festive Mass on the occasion of the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross, headed by Father Archmandrite Nader Sawuk, with the participation of Father Wissam Mansour and Father Joseph Suwaid. Father Suwaid emphasized in his sermon that the cross, it is the key to life and our spiritual weapon. It is a sign of the victory of love over hatred. A candlelit procession was organized and prayers and supplications were raised that may God preserve our homeland in its security and stability and may peace reign throughout our dear East. Then, an evening of hymns was held in the courtyard of the St. Joseph Latin Church, followed by setting fires and distributing pomegranates. With the blessing of the economist John Haddad, the spiritual father of the group, the Greek Orthodox Scouts and Guides set up its third summer camp under the title Our Strength in Our Community in the Church of St. George, Shatana. The camp included several spiritual meetings and workshops, which added to the participants many skills and experiences, which help in refining the leadership personality of the Scouts members. During the camp activities, a number of the members were promoted to the rank of captain in the Scouts. The Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities announced that Madaba won the title of Capital of Arab Tourism for the year 2022. Minister of Tourism Naif al Fayez said that this choice would contribute to revitalizing the tourism movement in the city in particular and Jordan in general, and indicated that the ministry seeks to make Madaba a center for cultural and religious heritage and home to mosaics and handicrafts in the kingdom, stressing that Madaba is a city rich in heritage, archaeological and religious monuments. 
The theatrical performance Nasij, organized by the Armenian Orthodox Council in Jordan, evoked the role of the Armenian parish in contributing to the establishment of the Jordanian state. This came during the theatrical performance under the patronage of the Minister of Culture, Ali al -Ayed, and presented by the parishioners at the Royal Cultural Center in Amman. The show included Jordanian dances inspired by Armenian folklore and a song entitled O Jordan, the homeland of all, your head will remain high. Dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. The fifth anniversary of the first pastoral visit of His Holiness Pope Tawadros II to Jordan. Patriarch Pierre Battista Pizzabella concludes his pastoral visit to Cyprus. The League of Arab States stresses the importance of the Hashemite guardianship to protect Islamic and Christian holy sites. Madaba won the title of Capital of Arab Tourism for the year 2022. For more details, please visit our website www.nursadjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.